But tonight, many people are gathering at the Memorial Wall built outside Pulse in Orlando. That's where Channel 4 Scott Johnson has been talking with people who are still feeling the pain one year later. This has been a year in the making, a sad year in the making of what is going to go on here tomorrow in front of that wall that has been growing since the mass shooting here at Pulse nightclub that it systematically murdered 49 people. No, I've just been out grocery shopping and heading home as part of my route home. Gil Hughes lives a few blocks down from Pulse nightclub. He has been wheeling past Pulse regularly since the shooting that killed 49. Uh, it's been pretty bizarre. I mean, it's... Don't really have words for it. It's just... It's, like I said, I wish it had never happened. I mean, it's just ridiculous that people got to hate like that. He's seen this block change from a crime scene into one of the biggest memorials in the area, remembering the dozens of victims who have united this community like never before. Always people here, you know, you know, visiting the memorials and leaving flowers and stuff. It's like every every time I come through this area, there's people here, you know, mourning the, mourning their loss. And, and it's not just locals who are showing up. It's, it's heartbreaking. Actually, it's uh, it's tough to to see so many lives lost and such a horrendous thing. Tamara Williams traveled here to be with her cousin, who was trapped inside the club when Omar Mateen opened fire. Early morning, um, she contacted us and told us uh, that she had been through the ordeal, and. Um, we just came out here to support her today and tomorrow. Despite the horror of 2016 with so much hate, this winds up as a story about love winning in the end. I heard about it and I saw it last year, so I wanted to check it out. It's, it's, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, it's bad what happened, but it's, I like what, what's happening right now. I've also been talking to our News for Jack's Crime and Safety Analyst, Gil Smith, about this. He says police involvement has been critical out here uh, in the community healing process because if you don't know this area, this is not touristy Orlando. This is not anywhere near Disney World. This is a community of people who have lived here decades, and the police have been here regularly to help this part of Orlando cope. And that's where we are. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Money raised last year after Pulse is now helping eight Orlando High School students go to college. They'll receive $4,900 representing the 49 victims. Scholarship recipients say that will further their education and honor those who lost their lives.